whether it's equal rights or uh, advocating against domestic violence or other feminist issues, these recipients have made significant contributions towards women's issues. There are three awards given, one to a faculty or staff member, one to a community member, and one to a student. This year we had two student recipients. It's a recognition from the university and the president of the university that women's issues are important. And that recognition, I think, honors women's issues in our community. Really, uh, coming into an academic circle where there's not just this feeling of, you know, women can be presidents and women can be great, um, suddenly there's this dialogue of uh, this is what women's studies is, and this is gender equality, and this is sexism, and this is LGBTQ issues, and all of that just evolved into something I could actually work with. There's always going to be that um, professor out there, and regardless of if they're on the Women's Studies Council or the President's Commission on the Status of Women, you're going to want to find someone who you can identify with and who can teach you and help you grow and work with you through this whole process of figuring out what feminism means to you and where you can go with it. My parents really raised us all in the way, I'm the youngest of five, so we were all raised in a way that um, it was never really like a question you know, can a girl do anything that she wants? Can a boy do anything that he wants? It was, of course you can. You can do whatever you want. You can love whoever you want, you know. People should be able to make informed decisions for themselves. That was just kind of the way that we were raised. And so I almost had to learn backwards that it's not that way for everyone or people don't feel that way. Women's advocacy really can just kind of bring meaning to something that you're doing. Um, you know, you may have a passion for something, but once you look at the lens of women's studies or women's advocacy, um, it really just kind of can tie it all together. It doesn't have to be a separate interest or like a separate hobby or something. It can really influence everything in your life. This is an award that I feel is, uh, it's one of the most special awards on campus. I feel really honored to have my name placed among the winners because uh, so many of the past winners are the people I admire most on campus. They're doing amazing work in all kinds of areas, but particularly helping with women's issues on campus, in the community, and in the in the larger society. You sometimes are going to feel like you're beating your head against the wall because you have to keep fighting the same fight over and over and over. But what I try to do, and it's it's really hard, I try to keep in mind the society that I want to live in. And and I, what I'm what I'm trying to do is shape our society so that it'll be closer to the one I actually want to live in.